Well, from your local election headquarters tonight, today is the first day that voters in Pennsylvania can vote in person by using the mail-in ballots. It's just one of three options voters have in this election to cast their vote. The I-team's Andy Mahalshik is live now in Wilkesbury to explain. Andy. Well, good evening, Candace and Nick. This large sign behind me really says it all. It says, vote here. It's on the outside of the Luzerne County Penn Place Office Building in downtown Wilkesbury. The Bureau of Elections is located here on the second floor. And the election officials told me today they're very busy all day today processing in-person mail-in ballots. Luzerne County workers put up two large signs on the Penn Place office building on Thursday. Plus, several parking places near Penn Place are reserved for people who want to vote in person or drop off their completed mail-in ballot. The drop box for the completed mail-in ballots is in the lobby of the building. They can't be moved. Uh, they are under 24 hours a day surveillance, and they're actually in front of our, uh, our sheriff's department who is outside watching them as well. And starting Thursday, people can vote by mail in person. They can go into the Election Bureau office, request a mail-in ballot application, fill it out, give it back to an election worker who will then give them a ballot. The voter will go into a secluded area, cast their vote, and put it into a lockbox. It's completely private. It's locked in the box. Um, and then it's put with the other, ba other ballots we receive in the mail. And they will not be they will not be opened until we are allowed to, to begin pre-canvassing on Election Day at 7 a.m. Bob Caruso was the first person in the history of Luzerne County to vote in person with a mail-in ballot. Well, it's a wonderful thing. I took advantage of the new way to vote in Pennsylvania. Ricardo Lima stopped by to ask what was going on. He says he prefers to vote in person at his polling place. I know that the place, the people are going to be safe for everyone. So I trust the people and I will go in person. Now, Deputy Wachilla says if you've already mailed in your application for a mail-in ballot, do not come here to do it in person. It'll only cause some confusion and take time. It'll be found out, but it'll take too much time for workers to do that and, again, cause confusion. Wait till your ballot comes in, either mail it in or put it into a drop box here at the county office building. Reporting live from your local election headquarters in Wilkesbury, Andy Mahalsh, your Eyewitness News. Thank you, Andy. And, of course, voters can still vote in person at their usual polling place.